Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Danielle, nice to meet ya and if you like my videos make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you're notified every time I post a video which are on Wednesdays and Sundays and it's a really good time. Today I'm going to be filming my travel workout routine which I'm so excited about because when I travel at hotels or if I'm staying at a family friend's house or whatever it is, I do try to make some sort of workout routine, you know, according to where I am and what I'm doing and the time I have and all that different stuff because it is important to stay fit while you're on vacation and I mean I agree like when you're on vacation you should be relaxed and everything but for me I just feel so good after working out so it's a great start to my day so this past spring break I went to the beach for a couple days with my family we stayed at this wonderful beach resort it was so much fun and I just loved getting up every morning and I can do my little workout routine but sometimes when you're staying at a resort they sometimes do have gyms and they sometimes don't and even if they do have a gym I don't really feel comfortable going into that fitness center because I just like you never know who's gonna be in there or you just you know why not do your own kind of fitness thing in your hotel room or if you're staying at a beach you can do it on the beach whatever it is today I'm going to be showing you guys my workout routine that I did while I was staying at the beach for a couple of days it's actually featuring one of my best friends Megan so shout out to you Megan um, we both were like okay if we're gonna get in our bathing suits and tan all day and enjoy the beach we have to do a workout first and then we can reward ourselves the rest of the day just being on island time relaxing and it was just such a great start to our day anyways today basically I'm going to be showing you guys a routine that you can use when you're traveling it doesn't have to be if you're on the beach or not and you don't have equipment because it's so scary it's like oh my gosh I don't have a gym like there's no elliptical there's no weights or whatever like I guess I just can't work out that's not true, you can work out anywhere you want. This intro is super long. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. First things first, you must always stretch before doing any sort of active work because the next day you don't want to be sore. Trust me, but if you are sore, you can always just take an Epsom salt bath, works wonders. But here are just some stretch that, stretches that me and my friend Megan always like to do. And then it's time for some sort of cardio. So when you're doing a workout without any equipment or if you're on vacation, go for a run on the beach. Go walk around the town. Do something to warm your body up. I mean, it's just such an amazing way to get ready for your workout and just be all pumped and excited. And it's just such an adrenaline rush. <laughs> and then just take a quick little break. And while I'm drinking my water, I'm going to head to this app called Mibi that I just downloaded. It's super awesome where they have a ton of different challenges that you can do with your friends. And whether it's like read a book or dress the best or, you know, dance. Like there's all these different challenges that you can do and it's it's really a cool app so I suggest you guys download it there's just all these different ones it's kind of a really cool way to add to your lifestyle to maybe allow you to try some new things so they have some really cool fitness ones as well I literally love the app so much it's so much fun it's definitely inspired me to like read one book a month it's pretty cool so I have a challenge for you guys that I created and it's called the get active challenge so basically i'm challenging you to work out however you want and be creative even or especially if you don't have any equipment and then you can post on the app and we can see your progress i can post we can talk to each other it's pretty awesome so just make sure to join in on the challenge and let me know when you join and we can do this together i'm so excited so comment down below when you join so grab a towel from your hotel room, a blanket, a tapestry, anything. Take it outside. I'm going to start out with some core workouts. So this is the Russian twist. It's one of my favorites. It's such an easy go-to for your abs. And then Megan here is doing, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I want to say it's like boat or something like that. But again, it's just engaging your core and you don't need to use any equipment. And then I suggest doing some sort of one minute plank to kind of end it all off. And sometimes when I'm doing a plank, I like to kind of go on my forearms back and forth. It's a great workout. It definitely hurts, but it definitely shows results. And then Megan here is showing an obliques workout that works awesome. She's killing it. And you just look great while doing it. And it's just really hard to find workouts that engage the obliques. So I think this is a great one. And as a transition from core to glutes, I'm doing some mountain climbers. I think it's a great way to kind of transition from doing some core workouts to some more for your glutes. 
these are super fun and cardio so then we're going into glutes so Megan's just doing some standard squats she's got great form and I really suggest just doing for those or if you don't feel comfortable doing squats this is one of my favorites I literally do it every time um, it's basically you're lifting each leg I do 30 on each side usually and then I switch over to the <laughs> kind of looks like a dog peeing to be honest but it kind of works out and um, this just all is working your glutes great for the summer to work on that bikini body. I know, I know, it's super fun. And this one's the hardest when you stick out your leg completely and I just try to do 30 of those as well. And then for arms, I think arms is the hardest to do without equipment. So Megan here is doing some push-ups, which is always great. And then I'm doing um, tricep dips and those are great as well. Then when you're done, make sure to celebrate and dab, or <laughs> boy, that's what Megan.